I, <laughs> I'm all my snowflakes. Can anyone recognize the location that I am hunting? Good morning, Sussanox. I'm here at another Outlander location, which I think is a little bit important. I'm going to turn the brightness up now, but I wanted you guys to see the background more clearly because the location isn't going to be as obvious to begin with and no it's not Glencoe even though it could almost look like Glencoe that's not where I am it is actually an extremely difficult location to find this is actually my second attempt of looking for this location I came here last year and I couldn't find it. And little did I know when I arrived here today, just how close I was when I was here last year. It was a little bit frustrating, but you know, that's the luck of the draw sometimes when you're driving around in another country, getting to know it. I think considering the fact that I am driving around in another country, I've done relatively well. This location was actually used in a couple of important scenes, especially in episode one season one Sassanach and you'll obviously remember when Bertha had brought Claire to the Mackenzies and then the Mackenzies started taking Claire all the way back to Castle Leoch and they were trekking all the way back through the forest and that forest was actually filmed on this property. There was especially one particular scene that I found quite memorable and significant because I believe in that scene it sort of showed or hinted that Jamie was falling in love with Claire and there's a scene that as they were riding along she was clearly just not happy she was freezing cold she was starving she was being tortured and all of that stuff being done to her. She was amongst strangers. She was away from her husband and her home, everything. And you could just see it all in the expression on her face. And there was Jamie lovingly wrapping her around in his blanket and he's just staring proudly. And you can almost see in that moment that he was already starting to fall in love with her and it was almost like he had this you know this caringness already there about him so they were actually some of the scenes that were all filmed here when you when they were trekking along and he sort of saw the magical forest that was exactly all in this location here where I am actually sitting now, there's also a scene where Claire had stormed off and um, I believe Jamie had been accusing her of looking like she was clearly wanting to run away and then she stormed off and she was sitting there contemplating her life and that was this exact spot here. And that is some of the scenes that happen at this location. It really is a beautiful location and I've got snow all around me covering the mountains. It's just absolutely stunning. Thanks for watching.
you'll see that I've got some friends behind me and this very log and because of my friends I don't want to go and disturb them and enter their paddock but this very log is actually where Kat had actually sat in in one of the episodes I believe it was when Jamie had actually told her about how the men could see that she was wanting to run away so she came here to sort of contemplate about her life and the future and I think she came here in a bit of a huff and this is the very log that she went to stand on. There's also a closed gate but it's mainly because I don't want to disturb my newly found friends that I don't want to go and sit on the log. This entire location was actually used in several scenes. It actually extends quite far back down that road. Hi Sassanarkins, Lane from OutlanderThroughTheStones.com inviting you to take the time to subscribe to my channel especially for those of you who are about to head over to Scotland yourselves to explore all of the locations. I know exactly what it's like to head over to a new country that you haven't been to before. I've gone through it all myself and I'll be sharing with you all the information that you need to know about heading over there and once you subscribe what that will mean is you'll receive notifications as soon as I upload a new video which I am doing regularly at the moment I really hope you have a fantastic time in Scotland